I recently went on a Virgin Voyages cruise and even though I've been on over 30 cruises before, what I realized is your cruise packing list for Virgin Voyages is going to be very different. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, something that I realized while I was getting ready for my Virgin Voyages cruise is of course that they do things differently. And that means there were certain theme nights that I needed to be prepared for. There were certain things that I needed to pack for my Virgin Voyages cruise that maybe I wouldn't think of on another cruise line. And as well, because the culture really on Virgin Voyages is different, there are certain things that I didn't need or really shouldn't pack at all. Now, whether you're going on a cruise for the first time or you've cruised with other cruise lines before, I hope that this video will help you to get prepared for your Virgin Voyages cruise. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, pajamas. Now I do usually bring sleepwear when I do go on a cruise, but I've never really been that intentional about the pajamas that I'm going to bring on a cruise. Now, when it comes to Virgin Voyages, something that we ended up finding out as I was researching my cruise before we went is the fact that there was a pajama party on the very first night of our cruise. Now I wanted to be prepared. I wanted to really choose and be intentional about the pajamas that I did bring and my husband and my son in the end, we ended up getting something that was matching just so that we were all comfortable. It was actually a lot of fun. So I do suggest that you go to the pajama party, but you might just wanna be intentional about the pajamas that you're packing. Now, by the way, I'll show you a picture of the pajamas, but I got these on Amazon. And I just thought these were very cute. It did come in like a three piece set and they were also super comfortable. Number two, make sure to pack a red outfit for Scarlet Night. Now, when you do go on your Virgin Voyages cruise, something that you should know is they do have a theme night that is called Scarlet Night. Now, basically what happens is the entire ship pretty much turns red as of about eight o'clock PM. It culminates with a big pool party at the end of the night. And it really is a lot of fun. And basically everybody, all of the passengers do end up bringing something red to wear. So whether you wear a red t-shirt, a red dress, it is completely up to you. Now I did wear the dress that I'm wearing now, I'll leave a picture up on the screen. I wore that because I wanted to wear something red that I could wear even after the cruise. Now, by the way, I will leave the links to this dress and the pajamas, as well as any other items that I do show you in this video. I will leave the links down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check them out. Number three, you can bring two bottles of wine or champagne per cabin on a Virgin Voyages cruise. Now on Virgin Voyages, you don't have any beverage packages that you can purchase. So while you can buy a bar tab, you are still going to be charged per drink. So if you bring bottles of wine, what you can do is you can enjoy a glass of wine on your balcony. And something that is really nice is on Virgin Voyages, they have these little takeaway boxes of sushi or charcuterie. So you can actually bring those back to your cabin and you can enjoy a glass of wine or a glass of champagne right in your cabin. And it's a good way to save money, but also to enjoy your time in your own space. Now, something that's an absolute must to bring on a Virgin Voyages cruise are refillable water bottles. Now on Virgin Voyages, they don't have any single use plastic water bottles. So it really is important to bring your own. Now in your cabin, you'll actually have a couple of nice pitchers of water that can either be filled with fresh water or sparkling water. And I believe it's filled twice a day by the cabin attendants. You'll have a couple of glasses as well. So it really is something nice in your cabin. However, what you can do is you can use the water refilling stations and you can refill your own bottles of water as well. This is great not only for on the cruise ship, but when you go into port as well. Now, like on all cruises, something that you do wanna bring for your embarkation day is make sure that you do have a carry-on bag for your embarkation day. Now, you wanna have all the essentials that you'll need until your luggage arrives. So that includes any of your personal items to freshen up, that includes your medication, any jewelry, any valuables, any electronics. Now, something that I like to do is bring a change of clothes so that I'm not reliant on my luggage in case I do wanna change into what I wear for the evening. Now, don't forget a swimsuit and cover up, especially if you're on a hot weather cruise, you'll need that not only for embarkation day potentially, but you'll need that for during your cruise as well. Now, by the way, even if you don't spend a lot of time at the pool on your Virgin cruise, if you are on a Caribbean cruise and you head to Bimini, that is one beach and pool area that you absolutely have to go to. Now, it's a good idea to have some sort of beach bag or tote bag for the cruise, as well as any of your ports of call. I'll show you a couple that I have, and these are the ones that I did bring on my cruise. 
So this was my beach bag. I absolutely loved it. A really nice, good size. And this is the straw bag that I brought. And this was great not only for the cruise ship, but it was great for the ports as well. And it does have a zipper, which I really like for the ports of call in particular. By the way, if you're interested in keeping organized for your cruise with cruise packing lists, cruise essentials lists, and more, I do have that included in the LifeWell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the LifeWell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47-page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can print out the pages that you need for every single cruise that you do go on. I will leave all of the information linked down below in the description of this video in case you do want to check that out. Now, this one is completely optional, but something that you might want to pack for your Virgin Voyagers cruise is workout clothes and athletic shoes. Now on Virgin Voyages, you have free fitness classes. So if you do think that you might wanna join in or if you think that you might go to the gym or even if you might use some of the outdoor equipment that is available on your Virgin Voyages cruise ship, then make sure to pack your workout wear. Now, when it comes to what clothing to pack for your Virgin Voyages cruise, there really aren't any dress codes. So you can feel comfortable in casual clothing or you can dress up if you like. It really is completely up to you. Now, speaking of clothing and no dress codes, here are some things that you don't need to pack for a Virgin Voyages cruise. So you don't need to pack any formal wear. So you won't need to pack a suit or a cocktail dress. And of course you can still dress as you like, but on our Virgin Voyages cruise, these are things that we decided to leave at home. Now, something else that you don't need to bring on your Virgin Voyages cruise is you don't need to bring a lanyard to hold your cruise card. Now, there are no cruise cards on Virgin Voyages. Instead, you have a wearable or a sailor's bracelet, and this will be used to open your cruise cabin door. This will be used for any of the payments that you're going to make, as well as when you get off the cruise ship in your cruise ports of call. Now, something else that you're not going to need for your Virgin Voyages cruise, and this honestly really did surprise me, it's that you're not going to need any luggage tag holders. Now, basically, even though you will have luggage tags on your Virgin Voyages cruise ship, you'll only get your luggage tags once you do arrive at the cruise terminal. So they won't be available to print in advance of your cruise. Now, when you do arrive at your cruise terminal, make sure that you do have your boarding documents handy, that you know your cruise cabin number, because the porter is gonna write that information down on your cruise luggage tag and put it straight on your luggage. Now, by the way, if you're going on a Virgin Voyages cruise, I think that I've made three videos so far all about our Virgin Voyages cruise. So I will leave that playlist right at the end of this video. And I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, please leave them for me down in the comments below. And as well, if you've been on a Virgin Voyages cruise and there are some things that I missed out on that I should have packed or should have mentioned packing, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I hope that this video was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.